hello and welcome back to the channel for today's tutorial i'll be sharing with you how to sew a mono strap gown with a 360 flea sleeve so if you haven't yet seen the drafting tutorial i'm going to leave the link at the description box or you can go right down to my channel so if it's your first time viewing my channel please don't forget to hit on the subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and also leave your comment at the comment section so let's start so here are my patterns that I cut out in the previous video so I went ahead to place the pattern on my fabric and I cut it out. So on my pattern I went ahead to add half inch round and I also added half inch for joining allowance but by the sides I did not add any because I have already added the sewing allowance and right here i added half inch round so if you notice my pattern is facing the right side i cut my material facing the right side for the front part of the dress so going over i'm going to be cutting my wording so i placed my pattern on it and i'm going to trace out for my wording so to trace out i went ahead to bend my pattern this way and i folded it and i'm going to cut it out so later i'm going to be trimming off the sides but for now i'm just going to cut it straight so if you don't know how to cut out your wording for your dress please watch me while i do that so actually if you're using a thick wording at the top you're going to trim out half inch so i normally use light wording because i don't really like much padding on my dress so i'll go ahead to cut the center and also cut the other side and then i'll go ahead to trim the side of the wording coming to the side like i said you're just going to take your nipple to nipple measurement plus one inch because the bust is bigger on the side and you're just going to trim off and then you cut out so next thing i'm going to do is to iron this wording on the fabric and whenever you're cutting it make sure the shiny part is facing the fabric so that the shiny part is the part that has gone so what i will do now is to unpin my pattern for joining so before i go over to iron it and join it i'm going to explain how i'm going to be joining it so you're going to place it right this way after placing it you're going to iron then after ironing you're going to place and you're going to join with half inch after joining with half inch you're going to iron this side also and you're going to place it this way and you're going to join so just the same way i cut out my fabric i cut out my lining and i also cut out gum stay for my lining so what you're going to do is to iron your lining on sorry iron your gum stay on your lining and you're just going to place it this way and you're going to join with half inch from the beginning to the lower part then you're going to turn this up with your lining so after sewing this is what i have and i've torn this up with my lining i'm going to be joining this yoke this little yoke part to the dress so to do that i notched my pattern and i'm going to place it to find where i notched it that's where the sleeve started and i'm going to just place it this way and i'm going to hold it down with half inch so i'm going to use my pin to secure it so that it's not going to shift while i'm sewing so after doing this the next thing is i'm going to attach it to the other side of my dress this way and to do that also i'm going to place this pattern find where i notched it and i'm going to go ahead to place it on that part this way after placing it on that part what i'll do next is i'll also use my pin to secure it on this part to avoid it from shifting off after i'm done pinning it down this is what my dress is looking like so the next thing i'll be doing is to introduce the lining to the dress so you can go ahead to stitch this down first to hold it in case while sewing it together with the lining might be difficult for you so after doing that you're just going to introduce the lining to the dress and with that you're going to be turning it up so what you do is you're going to fold this neckline inside so after folding it inside you're just going to go ahead and place it on top of your lining piece 
so what you're going to do right now is you're going to sew with half inch at the neckline after sewing at the neckline you're going to sew by the sides also so after sewing at the neckline you can go ahead to notch it i'll top stitch it to the lining part so i'll go ahead to do that and i'll bring it to show you what i have so after i'm done sewing this is what i have this is what my neckline looks like so the next step right now is to join the back parts of this dress so for my back part this is my pattern so i went ahead to cut out lining for this and i'm also going to cut out gum stay for it also so for the pattern for the back if you noticed i placed my pattern on the wrong side of the fabric why for the front side i placed my pattern facing the right part of the fabric so the reason why i did this is so that by the time i'm done sewing and i turn it to the other side it will be facing the right sleeve so let me repeat it again i placed my pattern on the wrong side while cutting why for my front part i placed it on the front part so that by the time i'm done sewing let's say by the time i'm done top stitching with the lining turning it over with the lining and i place it with the other part of the sleeve it will align so what i'll go and do right now is to turn my lining with my fabric so i'm going to iron my gun stay on it on the lining part and i'm going to turn it with the lining so i'll be repeating this process for the two parts of the back so afterwards i'll be turning my skirt with the lining so looking at the skirt i minus two and a half inches from my lining the reason why i did that is to give the skirt a turn up effect so to turn my skirt right now i'm going to open it to the right side i'm just going to unpin it this way and then i'm going to push my lining down to meet the ending parts of my skirt and then i'm going to stitch it up with half inch at the lower part so let me go and do that so after sewing it this is what i have so the next thing i'm going to do right now is to pull my fabric this way so remember i added two inches for turn up allowance when we are drafting the pattern so i've sewed half inch so i'm going to measure one and half inch remaining so half plus 1.5 inch i have two inches so after measuring that 1.5 inches after the half inch i've already sewed i'm going to go ahead to stitch the side with half inch you're going to turn it up with half inch so after turning it up with half inch this is what my skirt pattern looks like i'll repeat this process for the back side of the skirt pattern also next step i'm going to join the skirt to the upper part of the dress and i'm going to be joining it to the upper part of my dress and to do that what i'm going to do is i'm going to find the middle and notch and i'm also going to place it to the middle of this skirt and i'm going to go ahead to sew it with half inch so after joining it this is what my pattern looks like this is what the front part of my dress looks like and the inside is also neat so we'll be going ahead to join the back pattern also so this is the back part of my pattern as you can see it's aligned aligning with the front part so the next so to join the lower part i'm going to place it this way and i'll join with half inch and on the other part i'm going to also place it this way and i'm going to join it with half inch so after joining it with half inch i'm going to go ahead to stitch the lower part and i'll attach zipper to the dress so after this the next thing i'm going to do is to join my dress the shoulder parts together so to join the shoulder you're going to place the shoulder together this way then you're going to pick one of the shoulder you're going to pick one of the shoulder and you're going to wrap it with the other one so after doing that what you're going to do is you're going to stitch it down with half inch 
so i'm done joining the armhole of my dress and this is what it looks like so the next thing i'm going to do right now is to cut out the sleeve for the dress so to cut out your sleeve is either you're going to measure what you have on the armhole of the dress or you're going to measure your own armhole circumference divided by two so i've kind of had to attach my basic sleeve to this dress so i'm also going to drop a video on how i drafted the sleeve and the flay part of the sleeve nest so after attaching your basic sleeve the next thing you're going to do right now is to attach the flay part of your sleeve but before i do that i'm going to measure my first round bound which is my armhole side conference and i'm going to mark so after doing that i'm just going to stitch it down to the ending part so but before i stitch it to the ending part i'm just going to mark my allowance at the ending and i'm going to stitch it so next i'll attach the flay part to the sleeve i'm gonna have to attach the flay sleeve to my dress and this is what i have so i'm going to drop a video on how i did this also so the next thing i'm going to do right now is to shape my dress so i'm going to flip it to the wrong side and i'm going to pin it down i'm gonna have to mark my shoulder to bust shoulder to under bust shoulder to waistline and then seven inches down to get my hip so you can mark eight inches if you're a much taller person but seven inches is okay so the next thing i will do right now is to insert my body measurement so first thing i'm going to measure what i have at the center so i have six and a half inches so my bust circumference is 33 that's three divided by two i have 16 and a half so at that 16 and a half i'm going to be minusing that six and a half inches i have at the center so after minusing that six and a half inches i have at the center what i have left is 10 inches so that 10 inches i'll divide it into two so dividing it into two i have five inches so i'm going to mark five inches at both sides so this is a method of shaping bust here to make sure the bust pant side is at the nipple to nipple measurement so after doing that the next thing i'll be working with right now is i'll be going down to my under bust after marking my bust measurement i also go ahead to measure what i have there so i have five inches so my under bust side conference is 28 28 divided by two i have 14 inches so 14 minus that five i have at the center i'm left with nine inches so that nine inches i'm going to divide it into two so dividing nine inches into two i have four and a half inches so i'm going to mark four and a half inches at both sides so i hope you're understanding what i'm doing if you're confused you can leave your question right down at the comment section so going over to my waist i'm going to measure what i have at my waist and i'm going to insert my waist circumference after inserting my waist circumference i'm going to go down to my hip and i'm going to insert my hip circumference so after inserting your hip circumference is either you take what you have at your hip slightly down or you're going to mark 2 or 1.5 inches at the lower part of your skirt depending on how fitted or how free you want the lower part of your dress to be so after doing that i'll go ahead to connect what i have so while connecting it i'm going to slightly ignore what i have at the hip to avoid my to avoid my dress having extra hip or ear at the hip part of my dress so after i'm done sewing that i'll go ahead to stitch up my dress and i'm going to bring it to show you what i have so after sewing this is what my final look looks like so if it's your first time in my channel please don't forget to hit on the subscribe button if you're a returning subscriber thank you for always supporting my channel see you in the next video